Welcome. Today we have a nice uh, vegetarian and not vegetarian recipe. And it's going to be with a pastry phyllo here. If you have the thicker phyllo, it's fine also. But this is the only one I can get at the store, at the grocery store. So I'm going to use it. It's okay. So you need a phyllo for the vegetarian one. And it's going to be exactly the same things for the one with meat. And I have a little bit of ground beef for that left over. So I'm going to do half with only vegetables and then half and I'm going to put the minced meat in. So let's get started. Okay, we'll do the vegetarian first. You feel it. I have this mixed vegetables frozen. Everything is in there. I chopped up some mushrooms. I half boiled the potatoes. Okay, not they're not cooked all the way. I just half boiled. And I chopped up some onions. If you have fresh spinach, go ahead. I have some still. This is the last of it. Uh, frozen in my freezer. So I'm going to use that. And you're going to need extra virgin olive oil. This is a teaspoon, and we're going to use half of lemon and pepper, garlic and pepper, turmeric, Greek spices. I'm not going to use oregano. The Greek spices have oregano in there. If you don't have Greek, I have Italian there. You can use Italian. Now, same. I'm cooking on number four on medium. We're going to bless it with about three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to warm it up and we're going to start with our potatoes. Start with our potatoes. Saute them for about a minute. We're going to add our onions. Saute them for another minute. Mix it well until they get a little bit of a color, not too much. Once the onions are starting to give a nice aroma, we're going to add up mushrooms. Once everything has a little bit of a color, we're going to add our vegetables. I like the mixed vegetables, you get everything in there. So now we're going to add, I'm going to eyeball it, a half a teaspoon of the lemon and pepper garlic and pepper, turmeric, and Greek. If you don't have Greek, Italian. So let's start eyeballing everything here. I also have a garlic and ginger paste. I'm gonna use a teaspoon and mix that for about a half a minute and shut everything off. Start smelling the garlic, shut it off and put it aside and it's ready let it cool off vegetarian filling is ready let it cool off and we'll start in the same frying pan after you take all your vegetables out guess what i forgot to put spinach that's okay you can you can add the spinach i forgot all about it because i had to put it back in the freezer so it, i didn't want it to be crossed and i forgot about it that's okay uh, you can also add if you like a little bit of um, salt, but we don't like too much salt, so the spices have enough for us, but if you like, you can add it. All I'm doing is putting three spices in the mix, just a little bit, and I'm going to put some ginger and garlic, of course. I love it. Half a teaspoon. And just give that a couple of minutes. It doesn't have to cook all the way through because it's going to cook inside. Then we're going to mix all the vegetables in together. About two minutes. It is done. I don't want to see any redness in the meat. So less, even less than uh, two minutes it took. Now for this one, I didn't have enough of the mixed vegetables, so 
I added a little bit more corn and potatoes. And we just throw that in. Look at that. Blend everything together. Shut the heat off while you're blending. And put it aside. So everything is ready to go. Our vegetarian is ready. And our meat filling is ready. Open your filo and get some, uh, I put extra virgin olive oil. You can use anything you like. Just spread it all around the filo. Fold the filo in half. And place some. Fold the corner and roll it. Set your oven at 350, whatever it bakes. I put sesame seed on uh, the ones that are vegetarian. And the ones that are not, I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil. Put them in until they're nice and golden. 15, 20 minutes until they're nice and golden. All done. About 17 minutes. Can you hear that? Nice and crispy. These are the vegetarian ones. Nice filling. And ooh, they're hot. Wait until they cool down. <laughs> so enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Don't forget to subscribe. And God bless.